Assalamualaikum and very good day to you. So we focus on the clarimetry topic regarding the problems and questions. The topic outcome of uh, this session, you should be able to calculate the entropy of combustion and related problems using calorimetry method. So this session will show you some calorimetry calculations. Alright then, before we perform the calculations, let's check if you remember any formulas for the calculation. So there are six boxes here represents the six formulas needed for the calculation. So the first one, you need to calculate the delta H. So delta H will be Q ratio divided by number of moles, where Q ratio is equal to negative Q solution plus Q calorimeter in bracket. Where Q also is equal to ms delta T or C delta T, where m is mass, s is specific heat, and C is for the heat capacity, and delta T is for the temperature changes, which equals to T of the final minus T of initial. From the delta H equation, you need to know the n. N is number of mole where N is equal to mass over molar mass. Sometimes, uh, from the equation, you will need to find the mass of the solution when you are given the volume of the solution. So you need the density. So where density is equal to mass over volume, and we rearrange the calculation. The equation, so mass will be equal to density times volume. Okay, we go for the example 1. Example 1 says, the heat evolved from the combustion of 0 0.94 gram ethanol, C2H5OH, raises the temperature of 250 centimeter cubic water contained in a copper beaker by 20 degrees C. Then you need to find the, the enthalpy for the ration and given to you specific heat of the solution 4.18 joule per gram degree C and the density of the solution is 1 gram per centimeter cubic. So you need to find the delta H. So delta H here is equal to Q of the ration divided by number of mole. Where Q ration is equal to negative in bracket Q of the solution plus Q calorimeter. So find the N first. N is for the sample. So the sample here is the ethanol. Sample. So 0 0.94 gram divided by. 46 is it so you get 0 0.02 mole okay so then find in uh, curation so from the uh, statement here you are given the volume of water so the volume of water is 250 centimeter cubic and you can get the mass. So the mass you can get from the density. So mass will be equal to the density times to the volume. So density is 1 gram per centimeter cubic times the volume 250 centimeter cubic. Then you get the 250 gram. Okay. Then you are given to you is the delta T. So delta T is given to you 20 degrees C. That's all. And specific heat. Okay, so there are no information regarding the calorimeter. So we can assume if there is no information regarding the calorimeter, so Q calorimeter is equal to 0. So the Q ratio will be negative Q of the solution. Where Q is MS delta T or C delta T. You are given the mass, specific heat, and delta T. And there are no C are given to you. So you can use here. So negative MS delta T. 
so there will be negative 250 gram times s 4.18 joule gram degree c times delta t 20 degree c so you got calculate here negative 220 20 point Okay, 20.9 kilojoule so that is for the curation and the delta h is curation divided by number of moles so negative 20.9 kilojoule divided by 0 0.02 mole so you will get 1045 kilojoule per mole so this is for the delta H for example 1. So we proceed for the uh, example 2. A 1 gram sample of octin C8 H18 is burned in a bomb pyramid containing 1 200 gram of water at an initial temperature of 25 degrees C. And after the ration, you got the fine temperature, 33.2 degrees C. The heat capacity are given to you, 837 joule per Kelvin and the specific heat of water, 4.184 joule per gram Kelvin. And you need to calculate the, the heat of combustion in kilojoule per mole. So the heat of combustion you also define is the delta H, so equals to Q ration. Divide by number of mole, mole of the sample, where n will be 1 gram divided by the molar mass of C8H18, which is 114. So you get the n is 8.77 mole. Okay, then you can find the Q ration. So Q ration equals to same formula q solution plus q parameter negative bracket where q will be equals to ms delta t or c delta t right so a given to you is the mass of water initial temperature 25 and final temperature 33.2 and the heat capacity of the kilometer C kilometer specific heat of water as for the H2O then you are uh, so from this example you are given complete information for the solution and kilometer so you can find both this one and this one so for the Q solution so there will you will use ms delta t because you are given the mass of water 1200 so ms delta t for the q parameter is delta t because you are given the heat capacity here so will be negative m 1200 gram times the s 4.184 joule per gram kelvin so time delta t so delta t is t final minus t initial the final is 33.2 minus 25 so 8.2 degree c or kelvin so 8.2 kelvin plus C delta T, so C here 837 times 8.2 Kelvin. So for the Q solution is 41170.56 Joule. So for the Q parameter is 6. 863.4 Joule. So, 
So the addition will be negative forty eight zero three three point nine six joule or in kilojoule is negative forty eight point zero three three kilojoule. Because the from this equation you need to find in kilojoule per mole, so you must convert to kilojoule. So delta H will be curation over number of mole negative forty eight point zero three three kilojoule divided by eight point seven seven mole. So you get here is negative five point four eight kilojoule per mole. So let's go for the example three. So the example three, you are given the delta H for the glucose negative two eight zero three kilojoule per mole, and the mass of the glucose one gram. So from this you can get the number of mole because glucose is the sample. It's combusted in a bomb carometer. So when it is a bomb, so Q ratio will be negative Q of the solution plus Q carometer. With the mouse. Okay. If the carometer contains eight seven five gram of water and the bomb has heat capacity for seven five joule per uh, degree C, then you need to find the temperature increase the delta T and given to you specific heat of water and the molar mass of the glucose. So here you are given delta H where negative 2803 kilojoule per mole and you know that delta H is equal to Q ration divided by number of mole. So here you need to find the delta T because delta T is not given to you. So first you must find the Q ration where delta H equals to Q ration divided by number of mole. So Q ration will be delta H times number of mole. So where the mole N is 1, what's the mass? Mass 1 gram over 180.2 gram per mole. So you get the N is 5.55 times 10 to the power of the negative 3 mole. So Q ratio will be negative 283 kilojoule per mole times 5.55 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. So you get the Q ratio is negative one five four one six point five joule so you know that Q ration is equal to negative Q of the solution plus Q carometer and given to you the mass of water so you can have ms delta T and you are given the C carometer so C delta T so factorize this equation to find the delta T so will be delta T times ms plus C of the parameter so delta T will be Q ratio Divide by negative ms plus c. So delta t equals to q ratio divided by negative ms plus c. So q ratio is negative 0.5 joule. So divide by negative M is 875 gram times 
184 jo program Kelvin plus the C is 475 jo per Kelvin or degree C Kelvin. So calculate the value you will get to sorry three point seven three degree C or Kelvin. So this is for the delta T. For the last example, you are given 1.922 gram ethanol C3H, C3OH, CH3OH was burned in a constant volume bomb diameter given heat capacity 6.24 kJ per degree C including the water. So meaning that heat capacity including the water is C km plus C of the water will be 6.24 kJ per degree C. Consequently, the temperature water rose by 4.2 degree C. So, delta T is 4.2. And you need to calculate the molar heat of combustion, which is delta H. So, I given the specific heat of water. Sorry. It's not the methanol, this is the water. My mistake. And given the molar mass to find the number of mole. So N here is the N of the sample, similar with the others. So the sample here is the methanol, where N is equal to 1.922 gram per molar mass. So the molar mass here is 32. So you get 0 0.06. 0.6 more. Then to calculate the delta H, so delta H is equal to Q ratio divided by number of moles. So N you get 0 0.06. So Q ratio is the same negative Q of the solution plus Q calorimeter. So get all the information I given to you. Uh, where Q is equals to C delta T here because you are given the C for both. So it will be C delta T plus C delta T. So factorize here you will get delta T times C of the solution plus solution and C for the calorimeter. So delta T are given to you 4.2 degree C. So the C including the water is 6.24 kJ per degree C. So you get the Q ratio is negative 26.2 kJ. Then you can get the delta H. So delta H is equal to Q ratio divided by number of moles. So negative 26.2 kJ. Number of moles 0 0.06 mole. So calculate the value, so you get negative 436.2 times 8 kJ per mole. Easy, right? Okay, so I only give you for example, so you can use this information or the steps for other questions too. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching.